It's our second take. Hi, Tyler. We miss you. Thank you for editing. Hi, Tyler. Who's off fire? Hey, guys. It's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to episode 41 of the Same Brain Podcast. We are outside sitting in front of a fire if you're watching on YouTube, but if you're listening... Can you hear that crackle? Can you hear it? Listen. That is a crackle of a campfire. Jenna made this fire. I collected sticks and I was so concerned that I was gonna get poisoned, but Jenna said, you have better chance of getting attacked by bears than getting poisoned. And she's not joking. Honestly, I'm not sure if those odds are right. I started to do the fire and cause my dad and I have been making campfires this week. We're hanging out with our family on the East Coast. We're actually in Maryland now at a rental house. And I was like, you know what? I got this. I can make this myself. Yeah. Uh, and then my dad came down and helped. So <laughs> I can't really take all the credit, but I did get some dead sticks that were loose in the uh, in the yard and these lots. They were like, um, there was just a lot of... Uh, pause for daddy long legs. Speaking of our dad, not our dad. This is a spider. If you... Oh God. It's okay. They're harmless. Yeah, but... They're just oh, big. Oh, I don't... I don't like bugs. Okay? So we've been don't on like the em. East Coast for a little bit. And like I said, we're in Maryland just hanging out with our family. And we thought we would just take it outside today. Say, so take same rain outside. I'm trying to get the reviews, but I don't have service. Well, you know, that's a great excuse, Jenna. I think I might have some reviews here. I actually have 5G right now. Three what? freaking bars. Yeah, so this is kind of strange. AT&T, uh, so I have T-Mobile and AT&T. And my AT&T phone just randomly like sent a te- text and said, hey, you now have 5G because I never actually upgraded my plan to have 5G for whatever reason. I just didn't feel like it because I my T-Mobile, I had 5G on there. So I'd always use that. And then a lot of my sample phones would always come with Verizon. So then ah. I would be using that. So I basically don't know where I'm going with that story. I'm not sure either. But I have actually managed to load the reviews from Apple Podcasts. Cool. So thank you guys for, um, oh, there's a lot of smoky action coming my way. So we are going to be reading some reviews now. Someone said, uh, best podcast on the podcast app. I love this podcast. They cast their pod perfectly. I don't think that's a real slogan, but I think it should be. Okay. Okay. I love your podcast. It is my dream to meet you guys one day. You never know. We're around. Like now we're in Maryland in a field. Yep. With a fire. Hi, Mm -hmm. Justine and Jenna. I love your content. It is informational and funny at the same time. It brightens my day to listen to it. I have learned so much about technology, both on this podcast and on both of your channels. Oh my goodness. You guys have even inspired me to start a technology-based YouTube channel of my own. Overall, keep doing what you're doing, and you will continue to brighten people's day. Well, thank you so much, Grant. That was very, very sweet. That was a very sweet review, I must say. Very sweet. Thank you. I, I, um, sorry. (laughs) Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I just, I was trying to get comfy and then I, I kind of got even more uncomfortable. <laughs> so we're sitting on these like wooden uh, chairs, but they're slanted very far back. So when you lean back, you're like, your butt is almost on the ground, but then your legs are like, I don't know. But you also can't really slide because I got a splinter in my leg. Yeah. So I'm going to have to tend to that after the podcast. There's, so, okay, there's ash in your hair. Well, whatever. Let's well, listen to a voice message. Yay! Same brain. Best podcast. That's great. You, you have to get this out. What if it catches on fire? Well, it would have caught on fire probably already. No, it's smoldering. Um, thank you. That was a really great sound bite clip that message. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Hey, hey, Justine and Jenna. Just wanted to let you know that I really love your podcast. Thanks. That is no. what we love to hear. Thank oh my you. goodness. This is from Brandon. It says a review from a blind person. Hi guys. This is Brandon. I just wanted to say that um, I heard your the one podcast about accessibility and I like on your YouTube channel how you like y- you do describe how everything looks and how it is and um how you put like a you kind of put emotion into your unboxings and stuff i I like that so that's all i wanted to say well thank you thank you so much brandon i loved having james on the podcast it's been a while since we had a guest on and i've been such a huge fan of his if you guys haven't got a chance to check out that episode it was with james rath and he is a legally blind 
a video editor, a gamer. Filmmaker. He, he's done so many incredible things. So go check that if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, I, I love that episode. It was it was super fun. Well, right now we are. So yeah. So for, you know, trying to be a little bit more descriptive, descriptive we are sitting in these two chairs. We have the roadcaster propped up on a log, uh, which was supposed to go in the fire, but this actually worked out nicely. We have a campfire behind us. In like a little fire pit, which I actually need to get up and put more wood in it. Yeah. So if you could take over from yeah, yeah, here yeah. and hold my microphone while I tend to the fire, please. Because I'm going to talk about this log that the roadcaster is sitting on. So the roadcaster, if you guys don't know what that is and if you're just listening, it's kind of the little audio interface that allows us to record this podcast. And it's really cool because we can basically take this anywhere. And if you're... If you're new to the podcast, we have definitely taken this to a bunch of places. But the log that it's sitting on is what I want to discuss because this log is so beautiful and we found it out in the woods. And I actually have a log in my living room that I think I paid like $100 for. Like a freaking just a, a log that looks like it was cut ah. out of... Oh, Jenna is hurting herself? No, it was a bug. I thought it was fire. She uh, She's throwing stuff... She's throwing stuff on the fire. But the point of the story is, I uh, this is a nice log, and I would pay good money for it. And I know a lot of people would, because I've seen this same tree stump in so many people's houses. I think actually Rosanna has one as well. It's from West Elm. It's very nice. Um, are you going to... Okay, Jenna's now running around in the backyard for more sticks, because she... So I've already tried to break that one, so be careful. Uh, it was it was hard to break. She's got this really big stick that I already tried to break earlier, and it's it it's deceiving because it looks like it would be easy to break, um, and it's not at all. So it's just oh, did you hear that? Okay, that's the sound of a stick breaking. It's really kind of ow. Mm. Things are going fine. I think Things she are might have. I think she might have hurt herself. She's picking up sticks, throwing them into the fire. There's a lot of smoke. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, also in front of us is the house that we're staying at. And it's really sad because there's a lot of bird poop that's like right by the sliding glass like window. There's a lot of bird poop. And I think what is happening is the birds are thinking that they can go fly through there and then they go splat. Interesting. Yeah, because there's like wing splat marks where I've, I've I, you can see them oh, just I... kind of hit. Oh, well, that's depressing. It is. Speaking it is of uh, wildlife and nature, we saw bears today. We did three of them. A big mama bear and two babies. And well, I they was, were like bigger cubs. They were probably like... They're still they were still They were cubs, big. but they were like not like little. They're they were pretty, like medium-sized cubs. Well, I was outside editing, and the dog was just like chilling, and he started going absolutely nuts. And it was like a nuts that I'm like, there's something wrong with you because I don't see anything. Yeah. And then Jenna comes out. She's like, but what, maybe there's nothing here, Maddie. And then... She and Maddie went around the back of the house and saw these three freaking bears. Three bears. So this house has like an upper deck, so it wasn't like ground level, so it is like up, and it's a whole wraparound deck where, I mean, you don't really have access to it. Like, there's no stairs it's unless you're in the house. And yeah, I look over, and at the neighbor's house, there were bears in the yard. Three of them, and then we're on a golf course also, so like the backyard is where we're sitting and then right behind the backyard area is a golf course so it's wild it was wild like I they was walked like, through the sand trap with well, their bear paws oh i know and i keep like every time i take maddie for a walk i'm like i know there's bears here so my head has been on a swivel and i'm not really sure like what do you do like you i know you'd like be big but, like if oh. i'm a mile away from the house and like bears are coming at me what do i do be big, Jenna. But I can only be so big. I'm not bigger than three bears. Well, after these three weeks home, oh, I'm pretty big. I've even I got been a eating a lot bigger. of chocolate oh and my candy. Gosh. So cake. The problem is when I'm home, there's a lot of snacks, like snacks, ice cream cakes, like just so many pastries and desserts. Cupcakes, blueberry muffins. I have zero self control. And then there's this local place called Sarah's Chocolates, and it is the most Sarah's candies. Sarah, well, but the, oh, yeah, Sarah's candies. Sarah's candies. But they have chocolate, and they also have like ice cream, and it is. Unlike anything that you'll ever experience. You can buy it online, actually. Sarah's, yeah. Sarah's Candies, Google it. I they promise ship. you, you will not be disappointed. They do ship. Um, our favorites are like the chocolate peanut butter. Like they have like chocolate peanut butter candy bars. They have these chocolate peanut butter eggs. Peanut and, butter meltaways I mean, bars. Oh, they have. Uh, oh, they have like the pretzel, the chocolate pretzels uh, bars as well. Hey, I'm going to stop you. Can you uh, make sure that microphone cord is not hitting the chair? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm very uncomfortable once again. No, no, no. Here, like, pick it up. Put it on your lap like that so you have some slack. That's you nice. You yelled at. So I don't, I don't have headphones on, so I can't hear what's happening. I can, and I'm like, mm, Jenna I have has a, 
she very is doing audio mishaps. I have a very bad headache from all of the sugar intake. Also, we started juicing, making some juices this yes. week. So that extra sugar, I feel like, is also like getting to my brain. And it's like a weird combination of like health, but also just candy and chocolate. So, so a lot much. of sugar going to my brain and it hurts my head. Also, the smoke. Hey, would you say that you've got the sugar shakes? Oh, I don't know, but I'm getting a migraine. Uh, yeah, definitely my fitness has, has gone down, I would say. I've done a couple runs, but I just, like, I don't mind running outside. I just, I prefer a tread only because I know I can set, like, a time limit. Like, all right, I'm going to do 45 minutes, done. I'm going to go this set miles, done. Whereas when I'm doing this, it's like, okay, if I want to go five or six miles, I have to, like, pace it out and... And True. It's tough. And, then, and I don't like having to carry, like, because I need water. Me so, too. Like, I have to carry the water. I have my phone. I have a knife. I have a pepper spray at this point. Because I'm like, what's going to attack me? A person, a bear, a dog. There's a lot of stuff out here in the wilderness. Yeah. I mean, I've been using one of those, uh, like, water belt bags, which actually you should get because it's nice. Because when you flip it to your back, it's like you don't even have it on. That is nice. Yeah, I'll get you one. Well, I, I can get my I'll own. get you one for your birthday early. Oh, no. That's coming Early up. birthday. I hate that. Your birthday is coming up, Jenna. Oh, my goodness. What are we going to do? I already know about your cake. Yeah, I picked it out. So you picked it out. Um, Made it easy for you. Super easy, which is good. Yeah, so we've just been hanging out for three weeks. It's crazy, like, being back home, too, just because, I mean, it's, it's like, not, it's so difficult to get to Pittsburgh from Los Angeles. Yes. That it, it sucks, because it's like, oh, you think Pittsburgh Airport? It's not even freaking in Pittsburgh. Well, it's... It, no, it's not. No, I mean... It is not. It's not. There's a lot of, of smoking ash falling on me. I thought that we were at a far enough distance from the fire. I even moved these forward a little more. I know. But yeah, so Pittsburgh, the thing is, is Southwest used to have direct flights from Pittsburgh, LAX, LAX, Pittsburgh. Great. They got rid of those. American had direct flights then. Loved it. Pittsburgh, LAX, LAX, Pittsburgh, which was great because we, you know, hop on that first class if it was available. And And it was crazy because like the first class American flights were the same, almost like the same price as the Southwest flights. Like if yeah. we got them early. If you got them early. It was, and if yeah. you were traveling with the dog, it was just a lot easier. And half the time with American, when you end up paying for like like luggage, we yeah. end up, it basically works out to be the same price. Because it's like, I'll do the upgraded seat, which sometimes is like $100 to get yeah. extra, you know, leg room. And then it's what, $50, 25 however much for your bag. And then and half the time yours is overweight. And then they charge you like 150 So at that point, yeah. when you do book first class... You, you get, get 75, 75 pounds. pounds. Yeah, baby. I think you also, you might get two bags, but you I'm might. not sure. I and think you do. obviously, you don't have to pay for the seat upgrade. So I'm like, wait, this just adds up. Like, at this point, it's basically the same price as if I just booked first class. But now, um, I don't even know. I Travel just, is just weird. It and is So weird. now the only direct flight is Spirit, which I have had nothing but positive experiences on Spirit. I can't believe it because I feel like Spirit had this rap of being the absolute worst airline. It's the airline that you get on to die. And you know what? They have a great snack selection. Great the snack. one thing that I don't like is they don't have Wi-Fi. But True. It's actually nice disconnect though. Cause I'm like, well, can't do anything. Can't work. Sorry. Super clean. Some of the seats, the, well, they're like big front seats. They don't recline, which uh, on the way here was very, very uncomfortable because I had to take uh, a red eye flight because there's also like the direct flights are, are red eye flights. So or I, 6 I was sitting so freaking straight and losing my, I was hallucinating, Jenna. I was losing my mind because it was so late. I hadn't slept. I didn't sleep the night before thinking, okay, I'm going to be able to sleep on this flight. Could not. And then Maddie, oh my gosh, this poor boy. We flew back separately, by the way. We did. So I was flying with the dog and like now I have to put Maddie in a bag and like him, we've been doing like bag training with him. So like he was so good. Like he went in his little bag, did his thing. I think I was more concerned about his well-being yeah. than he was. He curled up in there and was super cozy. And then when we took off, like, he just, he passed out. I think he probably felt safe in there, too. Yeah. Well, he's like, oh, this is my little bag. Okay. And you know who? You know what I did? I downloaded this game. Well, I already had it downloaded because uh, a lot of Apple Arcade games, you don't need to be connected to the internet, which is nice. That's so nice. I played this game. <laughs> it's called Simon's Cat. The game's called Storytime. Um... I played that for like four hours and then I proceeded to play it for another 20 hours the Oopsies. past three weeks. It is so fun. I mean, Has I've been playing two dots for like it? six years. So like, I can't really judge. No, it's fine. That's good though. I mean, yeah. So another thing about American was when I took my flight, I had a layover and I basically almost got stuck in Dallas because yeah. my first flight took off. 
late. <laughs> it was very late. And then my second connecting flight took off exactly when they were supposed to. If they would have waited eight minutes, I could have made it. I was oh. like, this is the first flight in American airline history that took off on time. And it had to be this day. And like, there was probably a bunch of people on there that flight. There least, was at least 15. Which is so terrible. Like, And the thing about flying to Pittsburgh airport is it would have been late. Like there aren't many flights leaving from Pittsburgh late. So I'm like, there's no way that like- yeah, that was cruel. They had to connect. It was just, it and was you cruel. can make up so much time in the air that that like eight minutes that they probably could yeah. have waited. No, no, they didn't wait. They were just like, bye. I'm like, no. Bye. I sprinted like 20 gates with a 45 pound backpack. And I was like, you're not even here. Spirit like, has oh. been great. Yeah, Spirit's been great. Yeah. Um, and here's the thing like, you can buy snacks on board. Like, you can buy drinks, you can buy like different alcohols, which I did not, but they have like these really great snack boxes, which if you are on Southwest, they don't have any for purchase snacks. They don't. No, they don't. You you get that little pretzel bag, yeah, and maybe you might get a second snack of like an Oreo, but they don't really do that much anymore. That is true. That is very very true. Hi, Graham. Hi, Graham. Grandma's on the balcony. She's on the waving. balcony, about to take a picture. Everybody say hi to Grandma. Oh, you know it's not live, but you know. She yeah. said hi. She said hi to you guys. Um, Graham got a new iMac for Christmas this year. It's true. Yeah. We should have waited for the. I know. We should have waited shoot. for the new ones. We didn't know. We didn't know. We yeah, didn't the know. new ones are great. Um, Speaking of, of iMacs, you guys may have seen our last episode in front of the iMacs. Yeah. How many were there? Seven? No, Seven. five. There was no six. Five. No, because you left silver out. I and did. We, and yellow didn't show up yet. We brought silver in at the end. But yeah, it's been really fun. I edited all of those videos uh, on the new M1 iMac. And it's actually kind of crazy the amount of content that I was able to produce. Yeah, in two days. While home, didn't have a camera. But like we well, had- you had a camera. Oh, okay, so I didn't have a lens. Um, I was, I, because we didn't think that I was actually gonna have to really do it that much. I mean, I brought the essentials. I brought my camera. I bought like, you know, the simple lens. I did bring, okay, I brought the essentials. I bought all like podcast. I, yeah. The amount oh, of stuff I, I brought. Bring anything. We're sitting here with a freaking full <laughs> podcast setup. <laughs> I brought a lot of stuff, but I didn't overextend myself when it came to the lenses. So usually thing- you bring two cameras and I had my Sony A7S3 yeah. and my 16 to 35 and you had the Sony A7S3 with the 24 to 70. So we and didn't want to- ND filters. Yeah. So like, that's fine. Two cameras. We don't need more cameras. Well- when the iMac project kind of came about, I was like, oh my God, we need a studio. I, there's no way that I will be able to film this in my parents' house or my sister's house. We don't have the lighting. We don't have like um, like fluid head tripods. We don't have anything. So we were able to find this incredible studio, which you guys saw, I filmed all those videos in and they had lighting. He had all the tripods and stuff. So it was like super easy. Well, it was easy considering um, it was like basically me, Jenna, and then our friend Steve. So that was our very small team. But I was thinking about it too. I don't know. I mean, you could have done this at your house in LA, but I feel like you would have wanted more space. I think that we probably would have rented something yeah, as well. Yeah, so you probably would have had to rent something anyway, just because like that was a lot. But I probably would not have thought to rent an all white studio like that. It reminded me of the old school like Apple commercials. I know. I wanted to do like a parody so bad. We didn't have time. There was we, barely any time I to mean, do anything. There were so many shots I still wanted to get. And like we we filmed, I mean, every second possible. Like setting up all those computers. Like Jenna was behind the scenes. Set, like I would open one, unbox, we'd get the B-roll, send the, the computer over to Jenna. She would update it, log in, update the software. And then like if we would take a break for food, we would like, you would be like preparing your next shot list and like shoveling oh. food in your mouth. The, and we ordered Grubhub and they didn't give us silverware. Oh. And because I hate confrontation so much, I didn't want to ask the guy that ran the studio if he had any silverware. <laughs> so we ate, me, John, and Steve so wait, sitting there, we were eating with our hands. No, no, <laughs> we made utensils out of bread. Yeah, you did. So like I was scooping mac and cheese with like my bread spoon that I crafted, but then I would forget and I would eat the bread. I'm like, I hate my spoon. So then I have to make another bread spoon. I it forget, was the whole thing. I forget what I got though. So I think I got uh, salmon. So I think I just kind of was like picking up the salmon and just putting it in my, in my mouth. Like it was. Speaking of salmon, I keep turning around just to make sure there's no bears because, like I said earlier today, there were just bears wandering around behind us. And so we, like, yeah, I'm just keeping an eye out. I would assume. So Maddie, where you where the camera is in front of us, Maddie's on the other side of a glass door. He's been tapping to come <laughs> out. I think if he saw a bear, he would probably let us know. He's honestly like staring He's at us. He's on a high alert. He is standing up, looking out this door like, hello, I'm here. And it's like, we see him. I see him and he sees us. He's like, what are you guys doing? He's so cute. He's perfect. a very sweet little doggy. Um, this, fi- this fire is 
making my mouth very dry. It's making my eyes very dry as well. <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like in the camera. I don't even know if the camera's on. We're still recording audio, so that's good. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've got I've got pollen all over me. I've got soot. Soot. So the thing is, is when <laughs> I used to do my internship with the fire marshals in college, yeah. I would come home every day smelling like this. Did you live with mommy, daddy? Yeah. Well, this was, yeah. So I lived back at home because it was, I was in college. But this was the summer internship. So look, I could have lived at, uh, in West Virginia. Yeah. But my internship was in Pittsburgh. Mm. So. And it like, doesn't what make I, sense. No. So I was like, well, I'll just stay at Save home. money. You know? So yeah. Well, I think I still had to probably pay for my apartment. I who know, I don't even remember. But oh. yeah, so my internship at the fire marshals was actually very fascinating. I remember my first day on the job, we went to a house that basically burned down, and I had to shovel the caved-in roof out. So to um, see, like, well, like, I don't know. Maybe there were just some that you went to that there was like, yeah, bodies. There were, there were unfortunately some where there were bodies because that's. Something. One of the houses was a hoarder house. Oh, God. Which is why I always worry about you. Because, ah. like, you have so much stuff. And, like, having all of that stuff obviously means that there's more fuel for the fire to burn. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, oh, God, the hardest one was when the families couldn't find their pets. Oh, no. And I was, like, doing everything that I could to either, like, find the pet inside or outside. And there was still this one where we never found... We never found the pet inside, and I'm like, okay, well then maybe it escaped and it will, it will find its way out. So that was very, very hard. Yeah, I can. I imagine. learned a lot, oh, and so to this sad. day, I smell the fire, and I, I'm like, I smelled like this for three to four months. Got to protect the mic. There's wind. There's, there's wind. There's wind. There's flames. There is flickering, flickering flame. I don't I've think also that big log is gonna catch. It's gonna be. A, it's just gonna smolder. I need more sticks. Do you need more sticks? Um, I've, I've got the new iPad out as well. Oh, whoa! Look whoa. at that! The new white keyboard is so fresh. I love it. I got a chance to test out um, two apps, actually, that were still in beta at the time that I was testing. Halide, which they just completely redid their app for iPad, and it's really cool. Get this, Jenna. I'm getting it. Get this. They have a left-handers mode. No way. That's you. That's me. That's Did you. you no, know that only 10% of the population is left-handed. Interesting. Yeah, it's really not that many if you think about it. It's ten percent. How many people are in the world? Like eight billion. Truthfully, uh, I don't even know if if someone was like, I could give you a lot of money if you knew how many people were in uh, the population. How many people are in the world? I don't know. I don't oh, know. No, you don't. I don't know. I don't have service. And Siri literally never answers. Um. Seven. Po okay. Seven billion eight hundred. Seven billion eight hundred forty-six. Million. Well, you were you were gonna say like eight. So I said I, eight billion. Yeah, so I think that's so pretty. Ten percent of eight billion is what eight hundred million, eighty million. I hate math. It doesn't even matter. It's the, it's not my fault. I'm getting smoked out on the podcast. Uh, like, oh my this gosh, campfire is going in my. We just got some pictures of Bryn, our niece. Oh, she's so she was here, and it's interesting because Jen and I like we're not, we're not kid people. No, but. We had so much fun because, like, she's not ours, so we yeah. can pick on her and like do all kinds of stuff. And Maddie and just, is Maddie's going like he this. Is he is pawing, pawing at, the, at door. the door. But um, but yeah, we could like teach her stuff and then we leave. You know? Yeah. She's just too much. Like, she, I feel like she's not like a normal kid. Like, she just gets very distracted and like always wants to do something. I'm like, just sit down. Like, she just doesn't sit down. Like, there's no sitting. And it's crazy because I've, I mean, I've been around a lot of kids before, but I've never experienced like this amount of like I'm incredibly like ADHD and as a child like bad and I like my mom like never medicated me or anything and we just you know she dealt with it but like it's crazy because her comparing me to Bryn it's like Bryn is so like she's on another level she just I don't like know. it made She'll me do look something like normal for five seconds and then want to do something else for five seconds and then like She'll tell you, she'll, she's, she'll do this really cute thing where she's sitting down and she'll go pat on like the seat next to her because she'll want you to come sit down with her. And if you so don't you'll go sit, sit down, down and then she'll get up. And I'm like, well, wait, I just sat down. Like, where, well, what do you want now? And then she'll just run away. And be off on another journey. Like there's no sitting. She will, and she's tall enough to where she can reach up and open doors. So we have to be like on high alert. And she opens drawers. 
She was really into watching me make juice in the uh, Nutribullet juicer. She was super into that. The only thing that I did keep her attention for a while, I, we, <laughs> which is <laughs> wasting electricity, but I didn't know what else to do with her. We opened up the fridge and she stood like on like the freezer and we pointed out all of the things in the fridge for like 30 minutes. And she got very excited to see the milk. Yeah, she was very, the milk, um, the strawberries, the prunes. Oh, her little pouches. Yeah, she, oh gosh, which she saw. She has these little like organic, like juice pouch things. And then when she saw the pouch, it was all over. She wanted out and she wanted the pouch. My log has fallen. Oh, go get it. Okay, so Jenna's getting up from the chair. She's going to go. Oh my gosh, Maddie is staring at her from the inside. Um, The fire is starting. Like I'm starting to like lose my voice. Like I think this is really, this is actually a pretty bad idea. Oh no! Oh, the smoke is. It is. Are you okay? Yeah, I just. It's smoldering. There's a log in the fire. It's smoldering. Jenna has a large stick and she's digging it around and doing stuff. Oh! My eyes are watering. <laughs> no! The smoke! Oh god, it's so much! <coughs> oh my god! I can't. Oh shoot. Um, Tyler, just cut back to when we start talking again. Cause I have nothing to say. We got a couple more sticks. Man, sticks. Dude, That's my nice. head hurts so bad. I am from I smoke feel, inhalation. Yeah, like my throat hurts. My nose hurts. My eyes hurts. When I set this up, the wind was blowing the other way. Yeah. Ugh. Not so much anymore. No, not at all. I did a, pil- a Pilates class yesterday, last night, I on Peloton. It. That's nice. How was it? Freaking hard. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, I haven't barely done yoga the last year. I mean, like, a few classes. But, like, Pilates is different, man. So much core. Oh. It's tough. I've never done a class before. I, could, uh, uh, I don't know if I have either, actually. And this is obviously the Peloton one. So, I mean, I know there's Pilates that you have, like, the the system, like, the, the equipment. The equipment? Yeah. Um. It was tough. I feel like I need to keep doing it or something because I can, I like can barely touch my toes anymore. Like, yeah, what I need a worthless to do some piece stretches. I just feel like I need to do it in the morning. Like, I need to wake up and just do it because once the day goes on, once I start eating and I just like don't, I don't feel like it. Yeah. Well, I have to run. Oh, the I fire is like, picking up. Oh, nice. Yeah, I gotta like schedule my runs when I'm. I've either like a few hours after I've eaten because I can't run like right after, or I have to do it bef- right before I eat. And then have like a small snack yes. before. Yes, I like to have my coffee, and then like if I need to do it immediately before my blood sugar drops and I get too hungry, and I can't do it right after I eat. And then no. if it's past ten o'clock, I'm like, well, forget it. I lost my <laughs> opportunity. Well, I usually do like knife training at seven, like three days a week. So that's like at that Early. point, like I know, and I have to get up at like six just to like prepare Area. my body of being awake. But yeah, it's it's tough sometimes. Yeah, but I although, need to get back into some type of routine. But then I get distracted if it's like the, whoa. Whoa. whoa that's steamy. Fire hot. is coming in hot. Um, you get distracted. I get distracted with like emails and calls. And then it's just like a whole thing. You get it. You still have ash in your hair. Oh. Keep going. Am I pretty yet? Uh, well, you're not on fire. Okay, oh. so that's good. Can I've, you believe I just collected sticks live on the podcast? I mean, it's so crazy how many sticks are out there. Well, uh, we're surrounded by woods, but these trees are very dead. They're not well. They don't look good. No, they have a lot of them have like a lot of these like bumps, defects on them. They like they don't they're look like these growths. Well, um, and like they're yeah, and like all they're all falling down. There's a lot of deforestation happening over here. There is, but honestly, I just don't think that the tree. <laughs> I just don't think that the trees are well to begin with. So I'm not. No. And then like all the um, landscaping is basically just big rocks. I love that there's like an advertisement for like the landscaping company. I'm like, you didn't do anything. You, you took a big rock here. You put rocks in the yard, which is basically making it more difficult to cut the grass. The grass is garbage. And you yeah. took like a piece of some sticks and like threw them in some mulch. It's basically how I would landscape if yeah. I didn't want to deal with it. Me Throw too. some rocks, let the grass grow and. Leave dead sticks everywhere. I'm going to put a sign out and be like, I'm a, a landscaper now. You could be. I don't really want to do it. I don't either. There's no flowers. 
No. Not a single flower. Very poorly. Wait a minute. There's these weird pine trees. Oh, don't even get me started about these pine trees. Okay. Oh, I need to show you guys, like, what the heck? What the heck? They're Justine like, will film a little. They're poorly placed. Poorly they're so placed. close to each other that Terrible. it's like, what are you even thinking? Like, I am not even a person of landscaping origin. No. This is keeping order. I don't know. I'm just saying words. <laughs> it's just a really badly placed couple of pine trees. And it doesn't make sense because there's really not many. There's nothing here's, makes sense. Here's the thing. Maybe those are natural. No. No, those doesn't are baby mean, pines up there. Maybe they're going to grow them maybe, for Christmas. That would be nice. That would make sense. You just pluck a tree from the yard? Yeah, that would make sense. Because nothing else makes sense. But even if you were to plant these for Christmas, you would not plant... I want to meet the person that did that. I don't. Because I just, I would have too many questions. I would do. I will say the one thing that's very important with fire safety is to make sure that whenever you are done with the fire, that you put the fire out yeah. and make sure there's no ashes or there's no, you know, smoldering things happening. So, you know, you take a bucket of water, dump it out, and just never, never put like hot ashes in like the trash. No, that's dumb. Yeah. So make sure you dispose of it because that's how forest fires happen. And we take this very serious here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is smoke oh, inhalation God. happening live on Same Brain Podcast. You might watch us not... Oh, I have a boo-boo. I have so many splinters from getting in and out of oh. this wood chair that I'm going to have to pick them out of my butt. Um. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> live. No. <laughs> I, so the past two days I was doing uh, some lightsaber practice in the backyard. I haven't really done that much over the past three days or three weeks we've been... 30 days? <laughs> well, Longer, yeah. actually. And... So, like, you know, you kind of lose it a little bit. I hurt myself so many times throwing this lightsaber, and, like, my fingers are all tore up. I hit myself so hard in the, the crevice of my arm. What is this? The inside of your elbow? <laughs> yeah. Is that? It's bruised. How else do you describe the I don't know. What is that called? Is that the inside of your elbow? That's where your arm bends. Oh, my God, you're a bug. Ah! This is happening live. Uh. Oh, we were on a small mini hike and there was this tiny snake and I thought that you were getting attacked by a bear. You screamed so loud. And I looked down like that is a small snake. Small. Okay, the here's smallest the of snakes. No, you're right. Um, okay, so this snake though, it was so small, but the way that he, like I just, it was unexpected. I looked down and I started saying so many swear words that it was so unnecessary. Yeah, that's why I literally but it thought scared that, me so bad. I thought you like stepped in like a bear trap or like were being attacked by like a python. And I'm like, that snake is tiny. It looked like he was charging at me. Okay. It was Isn't scary. it weird that snakes don't have legs? Well, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we went to a petting zoo farm <laughs> zoo thing and um, this, big, <laughs> this big freaking snake had like a huge lump in it. And she goes, oh, don't mind that one. He just ate a hen. I was like, what? Was it a python? Or a boa? Con no, it, it was, was one a of those like um, albino, um, like like yellow white snakes. They have a name. I don't know the name. I can't look it up because I'm on service. I thought it was a... <sighs> Let me look it up. It was big. Like, it this was snake was pretty massive. freaking big. I've actually held one of those before. Um, she asked if us if we wanted to hold it. I was like, How no. did you hold one when you couldn't handle like a six inch snake? Honestly, I don't know. This was in Florida and okay, it was a well, um it was, yeah, I know. Um Florida anything goes. Okay, maybe it wasn't. It's was just like a yellow snake. But it was big snake. Just yellow big snake. Yellow hold on. Yellow big snake. You heard it here first. Is a yellow is that a python? <laughs> <laughs> it could be a python. Have you looked up Python? I'm looking at Python now. Flexing with her five G. Yo, what's up? Um, fire is out. That looks like a python, but it says, <gasps> are albino Bernese python stage? Maybe they are albino. I'm not sure. We're really oh not God. sure here. Look, I'm going to search yellow big snake. I what it's seen. worth, we're oxygen deprived from all the smoke inhalation, maybe? Yeah, I don't feel well. Now we're just smoldering. There's not even a single flame mm -hmm. because the last log mm -hmm. that we were going to put on is holding up the roadcaster. I can't find it. I don't feel well. So, um, poor Maddie has been staring at us this entire time. Yeah. Um, do you remember the movie Snakes on a Plane? Yes. Okay. Sick Todd. All these snakes on, on a plane. plane. What was that song? There snakes on like, a Plane? <laughs> was it called Snakes on a Plane? Pretty sure. Hold on a second. I don't want to play it because I don't want to get a copyright strike. But I, 
Uh, we are being, if you guys are just listening, I would like to remind you that we do have a YouTube channel with video. Yeah. And you can see all of the times I turn around to check for a bear. Justine coughs. I turn oh. around to get sticks. I actually might be breaking sticks in the background to put on the fire. It's really hard to say. Cobra. We wanted to get our sister Starship. in the podcast, but she never had any free time because she was only here for the weekend and she was constantly chasing her child around. So if anyone's like, where's Bree? Why isn't she yep. been in content? She's yep. a mom and she's busy. She has a wild child. So. That child is wild. And, and I, oof. it definitely made me 100% reconfirm the fact that I do not want children. And I'm so okay with that. Oh. And if you don't want children, that's, that's okay. Fine. Don't let anybody change your mind if you don't want your mind to be changed. Too much work. And, and it's money. not even- They're it's expensive. Not, they're it, time yeah. consuming. But like, you know- you know, on the other side of that, devil's advocate, it's great, it's awesome if that's something that you, you do want. But, like, I feel like a lot of people go into this and have no idea, you know? I don't know. I just feel like I'm too selfish, and if I want to take a nap in the middle of the day, I can because I don't have any responsibilities other than myself and the tiny dog. <sighs> I'm also old now, so... True, you might not have I to think, worry about it Honestly, anymore. like, my eggs have probably rotted, so my prime is You gone. can adopt. It's true. You Would know, you? if you change your mind later. Yeah. That was an option. So I like that. We have options. I personally do not want uh, a human coming out of me. So oh, my God. Adoption looks really I nice. I know, and I'm so sad that we didn't get Brie on. We have to get her on. We'll be back home again soon, yeah. and we will get Brie on the PCAST. We lost the audio of the last podcast we had her on. I know. I don't know where the heck it went. So you can't really have a podcast without audio. No. We could dub it. Doesn't mm. that sound fun? We did discuss that. We did. I was like, no. And we forced her to do that. It was like midnight. I know. It was terrible. Maddie is scratching so hard to get outside. He thinks that we're in distress. We're, we might be in distress, actually. We might actually. be, Maddie. We're fine. Like, I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. Me too. We should probably <laughs> wrap this up. Only because... I can't... Honestly, can't breathe. There's, uh, it, it is just... A, oh, oh, it's mold. It's a bad. It's, a bad. it's very ash. bad. It's like we're back in Los Angeles during fire season. <laughs> Which, that was so crazy because it was honestly like I would go out in my backyard and it would be covered in ash. And I think while we were gone... Palisades. Oh, the Palisades was having some trouble. Also, I mean, fire season is among us again, which is so unfortunate. Um, Which is why it's important to mm -hmm. remember fire safety and practice, you know, well, you know, we just don't do anything with fire. Well, and the hard thing about it is uh, a lot of those fires were started by like dumb things. Like one was from, I think like a homeless camp. There was like somebody uh, was cooking, which that's not dumb because you have to cook to eat. But the fact that they did not properly dispose of whatever um gender reveal the gender party. reveal that party. one gets me yeah you that is so not necessary no get out of especially yeah jenna's gonna get you for that oh, don't even get me started don't get her started but yeah that was like one of, was that one of like the largest it was like yeah. fires too which was i hope they got what they I wonder what yeah i wonder what they did imagine get. being the child that started those fires like un like the child's not gonna care well yeah but i mean like later in life they're gonna be like oh my god you're the one well, it's not their Your fault. It's their dumb parents' fault. The one. Dumb parents' fault. Yeah, get a cake. Get some. Yeah, I accident. It's so easy to get you a gender reveal cake. Yeah. I got you one for your birthday on accident. I know. I got revealed. I was like, 37 years later. Wow. Shh. Woo. I know. Woo. I know. Woo. I know. When I come back home and like my mom's cooking food and stuff for us, I'm like, oh my God. I'm, I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> No, I know, right? <laughs> What's so funny? Because I was like, oh, dad, I'm going to make a fire. Is that okay? And I go, wait, I'm 31 years old. Dad, I'm going to make a fire. And he's like, okay, do what you want. And I'm like, yeah, right. I'm not, I'm, I know, but it's like, I'm when old. I'm, I'm home, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm gonna scared. Trouble. I'm going to be like, what? Like, like, wait, <laughs> I can, I can drive. Get, wait, I do can we do things? I know. I'm like, I can contribute to society. I technically should have a whole family. No, I know. Something. That's not what I'm interested in. Is there anything I don't happening? I like, feel well. I no, feel I think we're going to have to wrap up. Dizzy. The smoke is like, I can't, like, my throat hurts. Honestly, I'm just still on high alert for bears because I just feel like, I feel the presence of a bear. <laughs> oh, the, the wind shifted. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. We're going to go before our bodies burn right before your eyes. Oh, my. Before we stop. <laughs> you want to breathe? Oh, my God. It's so bad. Thank you guys so much for listening <sighs> or watching. You can leave us reviews on Apple Podcasts as well as voice memos on voice memos. You can leave us voice <laughs> messages, anchor.fm slash same brain. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel. We are also same brain across the board on social. You can also check out I Justine on YouTube as well as Jenny Zarek on YouTube. That is me. That is you. 
Um, now we have to take a thumbnail, and that'll be the end of us being outside. We're going to have to Photoshop a fire in. Yeah, the fire's dead it, now. It's just But smoke. it's now a smoke. All right. Bye. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I can't get up from I here. Don't can't, I don't want to. I can't because I ate so much food that my belly is not going to allow me to stand up. Thank you.